Hey Canucks fans, the Vancouver Canucks defeated the Ottawa Senators 3-2 in extra time, this time in a shootout as opposed to 3-2 in overtime on Monday night. Let's talk about the goals and then we'll get into what I liked, what I didn't like, and one other thing. The goals, Brock Besser opened scoring up two and a half minutes in the game. Uh, really good play actually by Nate Schmidt. He read a, uh, intercepted a, a dumping along the boards, then pinched, po- poked it up along the boards right in front of the benches where Horvat really made a good play. Brought it in strong across the Ottawa blue line, fought off the Ottawa defenseman, didn't know who it was. It was already a two-on-one, but by drawing the defenseman over, he was able to outweigh him and outfight him and then put the puck into Besser in the slot. Now it's a 1-0, Besser against Decord, and then Besser puts it stick side on Decord. Canucks are up two and, a half, uh, two and a half minutes in. That's Brock Besser from Bo Horvat and Nate Schmidt. Six minutes later, another broken play. This one, it was Thomas Shabbat blowing a tire. Maybe Niels Hoglander had a little bit to do with it. Regardless, a lot of pressure on him. And it's another two-on-one. It's Hoglander and Horvat. Hoglander outweights the defenseman and then puts a really nice pass across to uh, to Horvat. Uh, very similar to a, a play that happened on Monday night. Decord made the save on that night, on Monday night. But this time, maybe it was a better pass or Decord just wasn't there. Horvat taps it into the empty side again on, on Decord's right side. And now the Canucks are up 2 nothing after one. This is a very similar script, you, you, you can see. Then the second period, Ottawa scores the only goal. It was Ryan Dezingo. It was an unfortunate play, actually. Um, the Canucks were on a bad line change. And then Gaudet, in trying to intercept the pass to the neutral zone, actually tipped it to the Ottawa player. Um, it became it was basically a three on one. Nate Schmidt rushed back. He was uh, Jordy Ben came to the bench. Nate Schmidt came uh, on the ice, rushed back, made it almost a three on two, but in essence it was a three on one. And then Demko makes the first save off of Bishop, but he can't do everything. And Dzingo puts it past him. That was three minutes into the second period. No other scoring in the second, so they head into the second intermission at uh, a two one lead for Vancouver. Again, exact same script as Monday night. Then, in the third period, the Ottawa Senators didn't have to wait to the last two or three minutes with their goalie pulled to, uh, goalie pulled to tie it up. They actually tied it up with uh, just five minutes, five and a half minutes into the third period. Josh Norris, who p- seems to play really well against the Vancouver Canucks, the Senators brought it over the line. I think Schmidt had a chance to make a play off the boards, but instead he got stripped of the puck. And then it was just kind of a, it seemed like an innocent looking play. But uh, Norris had enough time and space where he put a really nice shot past Demko. And then it was 2-2 after regulation time. Overtime was a little bit strange. It was like a tale of two overtimes. Ottawa completely controlled. And when I say completely controlled, they completely controlled. Vancouver didn't even touch the puck for the first two and a half minutes. But then it seemed like Vancouver held the puck for the final two and a half minutes. It was, like I said, a tale of two overtimes. No super good chances except Besser did ring one off. I can't remember if it's the post or the crossbar, but he rang one off iron. And uh, yeah, I think Shabbat played almost three minutes in there. Hughes seemed to be out there almost the whole time. Although there was one part where it was Myers and Sutter and Besser. So Myers and Sutter don't give me a lot of confidence. And you may have seen with about 45 seconds left, uh, Hughes was trying to make one last rush and Vertanen body checked his own player. So no big deal. Then we get to the shootout. And the shootout was pretty entertaining. De- Thatcher Demko makes his first three saves. So did, oh, by the way, big thing. Uh, it was Philip Gustafson. The Ottawa Senators' AHL goalie had to come in because Decord got hurt in the third period. Uh, I'll talk about this in, in a little bit. Gustafson makes all three saves. One of them, he didn't have to make a save because Horvat left the puck in the crease by uh, in the slot by itself. And then the fourth Ottawa shooter did not score. And then um, Adam Gaudet tucks it past Gustafson, tucks it underneath him technically, and the Canucks get the big two points. They've won seven of their last nine. They've won three straight, and they are scratching, fighting, clawing their way back into the playoff picture. Okay, let's talk about what I liked, what I didn't like, and one other thing. What I liked, obviously, again, 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 always lead with this, the play of Thatcher Demko. 30 saves off of 32 shots, look good as always. The two that beat him, one was a rebound, couldn't do anything about. The second one was a snipe by Norris. So yeah, I'm sure he said he'd want that one back, but you can't do everything. And then in the shootout, he just looks so confident. He looks so steady. It, you know, if I was playing, not that I'd be able to play anyways, but I don't, I wouldn't feel confident going against him in a shootout. He just looks so calm and never out of position. So I love Demko's game once again. Bo Horvat. 
Strong game. A goal and an assist, both in the first period. Uh, he led, uh, as a captain, he led really well. Three hits, two blocks, two shots on goal, 23 minutes of ice time. Uh, I like Bo Horvat's play. And uh, he almost had, no, I wouldn't say a perfect game, but uh, a really good game. Ex- uh, laid out Brady Kachuk with a hit, ex- except for maybe his feeble shootout attempt, but that's okay. Canucks still won. So Horvat with a goal and assist. And I thought that hit his line of uh, Horvat, Besser, and Hoglander looked pretty good. Hoglander also with an assist. Like the Canucks penalty kill, killed off both Ottawa chances. I think Tyler Mott being back on the in the lineup makes a makes a huge difference. And Mott, yeah, you played, you know, welcome back, Mott. You played 20 minutes today, which was uh, which was pretty good. You know, the only Canucks forward that had less than 10 minutes was Zach McEwen, only had seven minutes and 45 seconds. Otherwise, everyone had 10 minutes or more, got in at 10, even Harlock at 13 minutes. But overall, those that's what really stood out to me tonight was was Besser, uh, sorry, was uh, uh, Demko, was Horvat. Um, you know, I like Besser's goal, of course. I, I thought Besser was pretty noticeable too. Three shots and goal, one hit. Yeah, I thought he was skating quite well. And uh, I, I like the Canucks penalty kill. What I didn't like, I didn't like the Canucks power play. Um, just as they went 0, 2 for 2, or Ottawa went 0 for 2 in their power play, the Canucks went 0 for 2 on theirs. Now, Tanner Pearson got hurt, so maybe that made a difference. So now you're missing Petey and Pedersen, but um, I really wanted the Canucks to light up Gustafsson in the third period once he came in to relieve Decord, and the Canucks barely tested him, especially on that power play. They didn't even get a shot. Uh, Tyler Mott had to fill in for Pearson, not sure... If they're going to play the, that unit the whole two minutes, you might as well put Hoglander or Vertana or Godet out there because Tyler Mott actually was responsible for two plays where, where the puck went the other way. But no big deal. Is I'm not blaming Mott completely, but you can tell he's simply not a, a first power play unit type of guy. So I didn't like the Canucks power play. Um, oh, by the way, I did want to say under what I like, they also blocked 21 Ottawa shots, which was really good. Ottawa had almost 70 shot attempts. So 30 of them got a net, 21 were blocked, and then... 20, I guess, missed the net. So I, I like that as well. So yeah, I didn't like the Canucks power play. Um, what else didn't I like? Well, I didn't like the fact that Tanner Pearson got hurt. Um, unfortunately, I, I, we saw what he fell under the, behind the net, probably rolled his ankle, and then he re-rolled it or, or tried to skate on it, and that didn't work. So we'll have to hear what happens with him. And uh, But you know, you never like to see Canucks players get injured. I guess I didn't like uh, Tyler Myers not moving his feet. You, you, Tyler Myers looks so bad when he's not moving his feet, usually le- leaning over, hunching over, leaning, but uh, maybe he is noticeable because he is so huge. I also didn't like the fact that the Canucks didn't really test uh, Gustafsson in the net, although, um, yeah, it was it would be the most Canuck thing if they lost to a rookie goaltender, but I'm glad the Canucks pulled it out in the end. One other thing, I was all excited to see the debut of Jimmy VC. He drove from... Uh, Toronto to Ottawa to make it in time for the pregame skate, or the, I mean the warm-up, dressed up, ready to go, and then the Canucks PR tweeted out at 7 o'clock that he was unavailable to play. Thankfully, it's not because of an injury, rather his paperwork. He's a U.S. citizen, so his work permit says, I work for the Toronto Maple Leafs. we got to switch that to the Vancouver Canucks. I'm sure the Canucks were on it. I'd like, I'd hate, I'm not going to think that they just started worrying about it like at, later in the day. I'm sure they were working on it all day, and I'm sure they'll get taken care of in the next couple of days. And we'll see if Jimmy VC's in the lineup uh, for the Canucks when they take on Montreal on Saturday, I would, uh, on Friday. I would love to see what he can do um, and even improve the bottom six a little bit more. Zach McEwen, like I said, only eight minutes, but he did have five hits in those eight minutes. So there we go. What I liked, penalty kill, Demko, Horvat, and uh, McEwen's five hits, and... Yeah, and I, I thought Besser had a good game as well. What I didn't like, um, I didn't like uh, Pearson's injury. We'll see what that is. I didn't like um, maybe the start to OT. And there's one other thing. I, oh, yeah, I didn't like the uh, our, our power play. I didn't like the way we didn't put more pressure on Gustafsson. And then one other thing, can't wait to see Jimmy VC in the lineup. I thought it was going to happen tonight. Connects fans, let me know what you like. Let me know what you didn't like. Let me know one other thing. Leave a comment below. And I invite you to join me on my live stream in about 20 minutes. Here, also here on YouTube. Uh, subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to. Become a member of this channel if you like to. Stay safe, stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Canucks win again. This is getting interesting. God bless and go Canucks go.